Chris, thank you so much. Well, tonight, for the first time, we are seeing images of two people Bogalusa police think are connected to a shooting outside of a high school football game Friday night. A teenage boy was killed in that shooting. As Mike McDaniel found out today, that boy was also a suspect in another crime, and the shooting is believed to be retaliation. We now know the 15 year old who was shot and killed outside of the stadium Friday night was the suspect in a separate shooting that happened here in the city the week prior. Police say there were three shooters involved. One of them was the 15 year old. Police are now working to identify the other two. These are the two people Bogalusa police believe are connected to the shooting that left a 15 year old boy dead Friday night. The 15 year old, he actually had a gun in his hand and, and had fired some rounds off. Police Chief Kendall Bullen says about 20 shots were fired between the boy and two other suspects. He says the boy, who's from Covington, was a suspect in a shooting days earlier that left someone injured. And we think this shooting was retaliation from that shooting. That retaliation marred the high school football homecoming game. It ended early in the fourth quarter. Bullen says it's all part of a bigger problem involving kids with guns. It's like guns is going into candy store and getting candy or something. They all have them. The number of shootings and homicides in the city have spiked recently. With 30 years on the force, Bullen says the city averages one or two homicides a year. So far this year, there's been eight. That's the most I can remember in my career here. For one to happen near a crowded football stadium is concerning. It, it is very frustrating and it's, it's hard to wrap your mind around. Mayor Wendy Perez says the shooting had nothing to do with the high school or any students. She says the amount of gun violence happening in the city is unprecedented. It's not just Bogalusa. For those, that, it's just new to Bogalusa, and it is. And it's sad that we are even having to be introduced to it. Already facing a manpower issue, Bullen says his department is working nonstop on ways to end it, but needs help from outside the department. This is kids' lives that... Um, are on the line. You know, it's their future. Um, it, it, this city, the, their future, you know, relies on, on members of our community doing the right thing now. Police say they have gotten some leads in this case, but need the community to help out. So if anyone has any information, they're asking them to come forward. Reporting from Bogalusa, Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. Bolin says there were five reported shootings in the city Sunday. No one was hurt, but a home and a car had been shot. It's unclear right now whether they're connected to Friday's shooting.